Although nearly every state wants one, efforts to build an effective medical information exchange often referred to as a RIO have largely been a failure. In part, this is secondary to first mover effect. No one wants to be the first in the pool. No one wants to purchase the first fax machine. Further, these efforts have uh, not had sustainable business models, rather federal grants and other forms of funding. Health Vault offers uh, a unique opportunity to build a functioning regional health exchange based on consumer-centric models. I want to talk about ways to enhance this value proposition with a specific focus on diabetes. EmergeMD is already a partner of Health Vault. They have built a unique extensible framework with uh, .NET and SQL backend that allows web-hosted solutions to be created in a matter of weeks, capturing all relevant data elements, user stories, uh, and user stories for a particular care cycle. These solutions care for the patient but also allow a roll-up of data for outcomes around the individual, around the provider, or around the community. There is an existing diabetes platform exchanging data with Health Vault today, allowing patients to enter data about themselves, be reminded if they forget, and have their data become part of a provider or broader community for outcomes. My name is Alan Pitt. I'm an informatics physician. Today, patients come to their doctors with doc shoeboxes full of records. Doctor, please help me figure out what's wrong. Uh, doctors are expected to open these boxes and go through this paper information. This is not tenable or acceptable in 2009. To transform healthcare, I believe we need to empower patients to participate in the process with tools that they are comfortable with. Uh, this could be digital, paper, or text front end. There needs to be interoperability of records so that information is available across the continuum at the time of service. And finally, care needs to be outcomes based. Currently, Health Vault provides an opportunity for patients to collect their records from clinics and hospital visits. There are a growing number of compliant devices for collection of biometrics, such as glucose, weight, and blood pressure as well. So what's missing? There needs to be a disease-centric face to Health Vault. Patients come to healthcare with a specific problem. Solutions need to speak to this problem. Dashboards and other tools need to help them and their care providers better understand the problem. In this case, we're talking about a doorway to diabetes. There also needs to be a way to collect activities of daily living, uh, often referred to as ODL, observations of daily living. This includes more than blood pressure and weight. It's things that are related to how you are dealing with your healthcare issues. Finally, there needs to be a way to co collect information so that care can be evaluated for success, outcomes. Health Vault specifically calls out that it will not roll up patient data. However, with participant consent, this is possible for partners of Health Vault. In partnership with two national advocacies, EmergeND has a decade of experience with roughly 50,000 participants collecting ODLs, reaching all the way to the home. Further, with participants' consent, data has been collected and rolled up for outcomes research. We are now in dialogue with Microsoft to leverage imaging efforts to incorporate pictures and other radiologic studies into the patient profile for follow-up care. Uh, truly for care, a picture is worth a thousand words. Previous communities for both MS and Parkinson's have shown an incredible stickiness with engagement of close to 90% at three years and 50% over 10 years. This is the front door to the diabetes platform. This was built on best practice from the International Diabetes Center out of Minnesota and in collaboration with the Chief Medical Officer for the ADA. As you can see, there's a Health Vault button built inside this. This form allows a patient to establish an initial profile. These are smart forms built on Web 2.0 tools. Typically, a 30 to 40 page form, essentially a history encounter, takes 12 to 15 minutes to complete on average. Uh, I believe there's an opportunity that once completed, this dynamic profile, it grows over time, offers an opportunity for personalized search. Just as we are moving to personalized medicine more generally, one of the first need, things needed is the ability to filter medical information so that it is pertinent to, to the patient. This would offer Microsoft a differentiator in the marketplace for medical search as compared to other offerings. Notably, this would also uh, translate into a personalized relationship for medical advertisers with participants. Note, at all times, the patient would maintain control and be able to opt in or out of this process. But when you're sick, relevant information about where to find things, uh, how to get goods and services is uh, of utmost importance. This is an opportunity to collect daily information, sugar, weight, etc., with reminders if the information extends beyond preset parameters. We recognize that most patients with diabetes are not going to have web access, nor are they going to have Health Vault compliant glucometers or other devices. In the past, participants have been able to uh, send paper entry forms with surrogates entering the data. 
Data could also be entered directly over the net via devices or text messaging. Uh, the uh, latter will be operational in early 2010. However, once information is entered via any of these routes, the backend provides an opportunity for personalized messaging uh, with paper, text, or email. The group can be divided by age, sex, comorbidities, onset, or severity of disease. This communication could be to the patient, the family, or the care provider. When I was at the IDC, I met a man whose wife and daughter both had diabetes. He would often call his daughter, who now lived away from home, late at night and ask, are you okay? She would always be bothered by these calls. She saw them as an invasion uh, in her privacy and a reminder that she had diabetes. But he was worried and she had slipped into coma on occasion. In this case, the patient collects information about themselves and only if there's a problem is the family or friends notified. The patient keeps their independence while the family has peace of mind. This care cycle extends beyond an opportunity with diabetes. For example, elderly patients might be asked to fill out a few simple questions over a telephone or other monitoring device. The family uh, then has peace of mind that their uh, elderly parent is okay on a daily basis. Information can extend beyond the care of the individual to insights into the group, or it could extend to involve a comparison of the individual against the group. I believe for transformational medicine, we need to move beyond the shoebox. Health Vault provides many of the necessary pieces. EmergeMD continues to build on this value proposition. I want to thank you for your time.